Morning on today's health is chocolate good for you. According to a new study, chocolate eaters may not only be feeding their sweet tooth, but lowering their risk for heart disease. But many experts are saying not so fast. Dr. Carrie Peterson is an internist and women's health contributor. Dr. Peterson, good morning. Good, good to morning, see you. Good morning, Savannah. This is that classic situation where the headline sounds great. Chocolate is good for you, but there are some important caveats. Before we get into that part of it, tell us the good news. Why is chocolate good for us? What the study found, it was looking at outcome on chocolate's ability to prevent cardiometabolic disease. And they found that high chocolate consumption does decrease the risk of developing cardiometabolic disease by about 30%. And the outcomes looked at were stroke, heart attack, and diabetes. And the effect was significant. 30% is considered significant, yes. Now, this study was one of those analysis of, of other studies, and they looked at more than 100,000 people, but mm -hmm. there were shortcomings, and the, the researchers were pretty candid about all that we don't know about chocolate. That's correct. One limitation of this study is that it did not determine the quantity of chocolate that was consumed. It only divided into categories such as once a month or once a week, so we don't have that factor. And in addition, it did not tell us what type of chocolate was consumed be it white or milk or dark chocolate. Now we know dark chocolate has the highest flavonoid content and it's the flavonoids that, the, are, that are the compound that these benefits are attributed to. Well, there seems to be a big asterisk with this study. And here's the key quote, excessive consumption will induce weight gain, which would likely counteract any benefits. So the researchers are simply making the point, yes, high amounts of chocolate may be good for us in one respect with regard to heart disease, but then again, the sugar and fat can provide its own problems. That's correct, because commercially available chocolate is laden with sugar and fat, and that can cause weight gain, and weight gain may counteract any of the benefits that we see here. But out of curiosity, I mean, what property does chocolate have that makes it healthful? I, I have on my notes is something called flavonoids, which flavonoids. sounds like a made-up word, but apparently That's right. it's real. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's real. Cocoa contains flavonoids. It's a compound that has been found to exert benefits on the development of cardiovascular disease, and it induces these effects in a number of ways. First, it has antioxidant properties, and these protect our cells from free radical damage. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which will prevent the development of plaque in the arteries. In addition, it can prevent clot formation by inhibiting platelets. And finally, it can actually enhance the uh, ability of the antioxidants that we take in, such as vitamin C, to work. So the flavonoids are good. I mean, I guess the question is, are there any other foods that are less fun than chocolate, but that would have those flavonoids that are beneficial? There are. There are many that are not nearly as high in sugar or in fat. For example, they're found in beans, in green and black tea, in blackberries, cherries, and apricots, to name a few. All right, but chocolate is good. All right, Dr. Carrie Peterson, have a chocolate bar. Thank you so much. <laughs>